Hi everyone, and welcome back to my series on how to make an action RPG in Godot 4. Last time we started to work on the player's health, and this episode we will look at how we can update the GUI hearts at runtime. And now let's get started. Let us first update the number of hearts so it matches the max health value on our player automatically. This requires a few steps. First, we go to the hearts container scene and create a new script for the root node. Here we will create a new function called setMaxHearts that takes an int as input. Let's also delete the hearts that are currently added to the container. We need to be able to create instances of the heart GUI node at runtime. So we create a new unready variable called heart GUI class and store the preloaded scene in it. To make sure we've preloaded the correct scene, we can locate it in the file system menu and then click and drag it into the preload function call. And now let's add some hearts in our new function. We do this by creating a loop that creates a new instance of the heart GUI class and adds it as a child of the container. This is run max number of times. Next, we need to call this function from somewhere. Go to the world scene and add a script to the root node. We then create an unready variable that stores a reference to the heart container. In the ready function, we can then call the set max hearts function. I think I'll start testing by creating three hearts. And this works. So let's also try with one heart and with five hearts. Three and five hearts looked fine, but one heart looked a bit out of place. To fix this, we first go to the heart container and make sure that both the custom min size and the actual size is set to zero in both the width and the height. We do the same for the container instance in the world scene. And then we reset its anchor and set it back to top right again. Now we just need to call the set max health function with the correct value from the player. Still in the world script, we add an unready variable to store a reference to the player. In the call to set max hearts, we can then get the max health directly from the player. And now we test again. And we also change the max health on the player, save and then test again to see that everything is updating as expected. Now it's time to update the hearts when the player is hit by an enemy. First, let's go to the hearts container script and add a new function called update hearts. It should have an int as input. I'm calling this current health. Next, go to the heart GUI scene and create a script for the root node. Here we create a new function called update that takes a bool as input. I call this boolean whole and it specifies whether the heart should be whole or empty. We also create an unready variable with a reference to the scene sprite. Now let's look at the heart GUI in the 2D view. The current frame of the sprite shows the full heart. This is frame zero. Now change the frame until the heart is empty. Notice the frame number. This is four. Let's go back to the script. In the update function, we set the frame to zero if whole is true. And if whole is false, we set the frame to four. Now we go back to the heart container script. 
and in the update hearts function, we can now set current health number of hearts to hold and the rest to empty using two for loops. To test that the new functions are working correctly, we go back to the world script and update the hearts in the ready function. I'll just update the hearts to 1 and see what happens. This works as expected, but I would like the empty hearts to be to the left and the full hearts to the right. So, the opposite of now. We can fix this more than one way, but here I'll do it without code. Go to the 2D view of the container scene, find the layout direction property in the inspector menu, and select right to left, then save the scene. Now go to the world scene, select the container instance, and change its anchor preset to top left. And now the hearts should be shown correctly. Now finally, let's update the hearts when the player is hit by an enemy. We will use a signal to connect the player being hit with the container's update function. Go to the player script, and at the top, we create a new signal called health changed. And down in the unhurt box area entered function, we now remove the print function and then emit the new signal and include the current health in the emission. To connect the signal to the heart container, we then go to the world script and connect the two in the ready function. To make sure the hearts are set correctly from the start, we also change the previous line to update the hearts with the player's current health from the start. And now we finally test for the last time. And we can see that everything is working as expected. And that's all for this episode. See you next time. Bye!